Hi, welcome back to the channel. So what I want to talk about is the reasons why I apply ACF 50. It's not expensive. It's used on aviation vehicles, marinas, all sorts of stuff to protect it from corrosion and the elements. Now, as I said, ACF 50 is not expensive, but a lot of people will just apply it when it's winter. Now that's all great because obviously you know your bike's going to be well protected. And if you don't ride your bike over winter, I absolutely understand that's just sat in the garage. But lots of people do. Now what I like to do is apply ACF 50 on the beginning of winter and then at the beginning of summer because what happens is, is the bike sits in the garage, it gets hot, at night it cools down, condensation happens, and your bikes get basically a little bit damp because condensation starts happening. Now. What a lot of people don't seem to sort of get is, is that if they have a garage, they think they can put their bike in the garage and it, that, doesn't, that doesn't happen. Well, unless your garage is heated or it's attached to your house to get warmth, it generally does. So you can still get corrosion in summer. And obviously if you're out and you're caught in a shower, it's more protection. So what I'd always turn around and say is, is it takes you another half an hour after you clean your bike to apply ACF 50 and it protects you. So if you haven't never done it, I'm just going to go through really quick and simple way of showing you how to be able to apply ACF 50, get your bike protected, and again, twice a year, so an hour in total, and your bike is going to be 100% protected, and that's what you want. So anyway, stay tuned, cue the intro, let's go. <laughs> Okay, let's just talk about the things you're going to need to do this. So you're going to need obviously a bucket of soapy water, obviously a hose pipe or something to rinse it off, but what you need to order is the ACS 50 and make sure you get yourself a decent tub and get the one that comes with a little spray bottle as well. I'll go through the steps as we do it, but let's just start off with quite quick and simple, give the bike a clean. That simple, clean the bike. Step one. Okay, so look, we all know how to clean the bike, some soap, some water, give the bike a good clean. Some of us are experts, some of us just give it a bit of a whip around. I'm more of a whip around person, as long as it looks reasonably clean, I'm quite happy. Anyway, so what you want to do now is you want to dry the bike off. Now, what I'd recommend is, is you lever the bike off, put it away in the garage, leave it overnight to make sure all that water's gone. But if you can't wait that long and you're a little bit impatient, dry it off with a lever, leave it in the sun for an hour or so, pull it back down, and then we'll apply the ACF 50. So now I'm going to level the bike off, make sure it's nice and dry. Okay, what you want to do next is once you've given it as much of a dry off as you can, then start the engine. If you've got any paper towel, run around all the other bits of paper towel, try and get it as dry as possible. Like I said, put it away if you possibly can. But running the engine gets nice and warm, that gets rid of all the engine around the water because that's probably one of the most biggest sort of parts that you're trying to protect on the actual bike. Once the bike's up and running and you paper towel it off, go and get yourself a bowl of hot water and I'll show you why next. Okay, so while you're warming up your bike, this is what to do. Get your ACS 50, get your bottle, obviously pour some into this. Once you've done that, Get yourself a bowl of hot water and then just pop this in the hot water. Give it a good 15, 20 minutes for it to get nice and warm inside because by getting hotter it makes it sort of thinner, which means it's easier to apply to the actual bike itself. So it's definitely worth warming it up first. And it's a nice easy thing to do while the bike's getting nice and warm because you want the temperature of the bike to be warm, the engine to be warm. When you spray it in, it will soak into all the nice places and when it cools down it will get a little bit thicker. So there's a top tip.
want to make sure you do now is obviously cover everything up if you can take your rear seat off that's a good idea so you can get in there if you can't just get it covered i've recently done mine so i'm just going to cover everything up as best i can make sure you cover up your grips on your bike and your foot pegs anything you're going to touch because obviously this acf 50 is a lubricant it's designed for anti-corrosion so what it's going to do is it's going to obviously be quite slippy and dangerous so you want to make sure all those bits you're going to touch a way a clear covered up and basically you're not going to get it all over your hands and slip and obviously be dangerous so anyway let's get on with covering up the bike Okay, so obviously you've got to cover up your bike. Um, I've done that now, so I'll have a quick look. I'm not taking the seat off myself because I've only recently ACF 50'd it when I put a load of electrical stuff on there. It's not gonna do it again, but I've covered up the best I can. So this is my attempt, and this is what sort of the guideline really is. You just cover up anything that you're gonna to touch because obviously it's gonna be a slippy surface. But let's have a quick look around the bike. I've broken all my rules that I made for you. So as you can see, I've used protective gloves on the uh, foot pegs on the uh, grips as well and I've covered up these with basically the wife's old sheets hopefully she won't catch me doing that okay so the bikes had you know again about 15 minutes to warm up the water's uh, the uh, ACF 50 in the bottle's been in there for about 15 minutes so that should be nice and warm so all you need to do now is apply it just as simple as this let's go no, no. it gets better when you look at the time but it's something i hold for the rest of my life and just another regret just another upset after such a heartbreak you're just another mistake still i think about all that we done can you take me back back to when we were Okay, so hopefully you can see this. I've applied it now and it's um, basically, I've put it on quite thick to be honest, but it's gonna soak in, give it about 15, 20 minutes, and then uh, we're gonna wipe, sort of wipe it down with a microcloth, but you want it to get into all the nooks and crannies so it can sort of give that protection. It's not gonna hurt the bike, don't worry at all. You can see I've put on a load here. You probably don't even need to put as much as this on. But anyway, let's give it the 15, 20 minutes and we'll wipe it down. And the thing is as well, all these black parts on your bike and stuff, are all gonna shine again, because I've got that, sort of coat of lubricant on so you know it makes the bike look nice and new all over again okay so cheap nice and cheap microcloth you can pick them up off the internet get a load for a few quid and all you're going to do is give it a wipe down and then you just put it away and you leave it happy days it is protected it is safe let's just whip around the bike then the thing is once you've done it it looks like new again because everything's shiny everything just looks amazing and it's so easy to do okay so the one thing you've got to remember is when you fire it up you're going to get a little bit of smoke come out of it because obviously it's the oil sort of burning off on the exhaust but remember it's well protected it's in the garage now you're going to have no issues with getting any kind of corrosion coming up and then you know that all summer even if your bike gets covered in rain it's got some protection on it so thank you for watching as always thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you next time take care Bye bye